everyone, welcome to this video and this is the video which so many of you have been asking for for such a long time. It's finally here, it's a video which covers everything you need to know on how to get those really soft smooth black and grey shades into the skin. Now when you're shading your tattoo, if you're getting that really red angry looking skin, then this is the video for you. Now I did make a video on shading a few years ago and it's looking a bit old and tired now. The video quality and sound quality is not very good on it now. So this isn't just an updated version, it's a complete remake. There's loads of new stuff added to it. We're going to take a really in-depth look at why the skin goes red when some people shade. We're going to look at common problems that people face when they're shading. I'm going to be showing you a technique that you can use to achieve those nice soft black and grey shades into the skin. I'm also going to be looking at a massive mistake which loads of people make and they don't even realize they're making it when they shade in and then also we're going to look at a snippet of a live tattoo and putting everything that we've learned today into practice. Now as always guys with all my videos if you want to come away from this video with the confidence and the knowledge to know how to shade then I can't strongly recommend enough not to skip any part of this video just watch it in its entirety set 10-15 minutes aside and you're going to get the most out of it. Now I've put so much time and effort into this video guys and it means so much to me. If you watch this video and you like it, please just take a second out to hit that like button. It really helps me out, especially planning future videos because I know what you guys want to see. And on the flip side of that coin, for all the rock star tattooists that are watching this, aka the haters, be sure to give that thumbs down button a nice big smack in the face and that just lets me know that despite you knowing absolutely everything there is to know about tattooing, you've still searched my video on how to tattoo. With all that said guys, let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. Okay guys, so let's first take a look at the most common problems people face when it comes to shading. You've got your reference image which is full of soft shade and you try to replicate this soft shaded look onto the skin. But in a very short space of time, your tattoo becomes red and angry looking, the shade isn't going in soft but more patchy and rough, and in turn you start to feel frustrated, you start to lose your confidence, and ultimately your expectation of a super smooth shaded piece of tattoo artwork is smashed by the reality of a tattoo that resembles something that looks more like roadkill. So firstly, let's take an in-depth look at some of the most common problems of why this happens. Machine speed versus hand speed not working together. Now I did do a video on hand speed a while ago and I'll pop a card up on the screen if you haven't seen it already, but basically if your hand speed is too slow, your machine will in essence be overworking the skin during every pass of the needle. And since shading is a collection of passes of the needles over the skin slowly building up the ink, overworking the skin with a slow hand speed will make the skin go very red in a very short space of time. Now there is a counter argument here and you could say that your hand speed isn't too slow but your machine speed is too fast. But the important point to make here is the fact that regardless if your hand speed is too slow or your machine speed is too fast, this will make the skin red and it's down to you to decide which one of these factors you want to change to make it right. So like I said, I did make a video all about this subject and it goes really into detail and it even tells you how to correctly set both your hand speed and your machine speed. So don't forget to check that one out after this video. The next common cause of patchy looking shade is the machine hitting too hard. Now if the needle is hitting the skin really hard, then the skin is quickly going to become irritated and red and the shade is going to look really patchy. Whereas if the needles hit a little softer, the skin is going to be a lot more relaxed and the shade is going to go in much easier and get that nice softness to it. Again, I do also cover this subject in another video on how to set the hit and the bog of a tattoo machine. So I'll pop that card up on the screen too and if you click that, you'll be able to watch that at the end of this video. So the next common reason for patchy looking shade is the wrong choice of grey wash. Now this is something you don't usually hear people talk about but it's a massive contributor to redness of the skin. Now what I mean by wrong choice of grey wash is this. Grey wash whether you make your own or you buy pre-mixed you're most likely going to have a few different shades as opposed to just the one. So let's for example say you're going to do a black and grey tattoo and you've obviously got your ink cup full of black and then you've got three cups of grey wash, all different shades. So in this example, we're gonna say light, medium, and dark. The best way to approach a tattoo is to match the desired shade of your reference image with the minimal amount of passes over the skin with the needle. So let's say you want to tattoo this dark looking shade on the design. You wouldn't use your light grey wash on this from the palette. Why? 
because it's going to take far too many passes on the skin with a needle before you even get close to your desired shade which in turn means you would have probably overworked the skin before you've got a shade even close to looking as dark as the shade in the reference image so in this example by choosing the dark gray wash this will allow you to reach the desired shade with much fewer passes over the skin with the needle and with fewer passes you're much less likely to overwork the skin and therefore much less likely to make the skin red and angry looking so next is the stretch the stretch is often overlooked and it is so important that you have the right amount of stretch now if the skin isn't stretched it can make the needles bounce over it and not actually put any ink into it this can lead to the skin becoming irritated pretty quickly and it can also create a patchy looking shade where the needles are bounced and the ink fails to penetrate certain parts it's a misconception to think because the tattoo needles sharp it's going to penetrate the skin it's just not the case unless you've got a nice stretch on the skin the needles are just going to bounce on it next we have the wrong technique now if you're holding the machine wrong or you're not using the right technique then fixing everything that we've just spoken about still won't solve your patchy looking shade issues in my opinion at the forefront of red angry looking skin when trying to shade the biggest and most common mistake is not using the right technique or in simpler terms not having the correct hand movement so in this next section we're going to take a look at how you should actually be moving your hand to get those nice soft shades into the skin so there's not really a massive secret to this and a lot of it does come down to practice but to get these really nice soft blends into the skin we must first make sure our machine speed and hand speed are running in sync with each other that we're selecting the correct ink for the design and our stretch is right then it's just a simple matter of performing a single sweeping through motion now I've used an example in a previous video of a plane coming into land on a runway and taking off again in one continuous motion. Now another way to look at this is like a golfer hitting a golf ball. When they swing for the ball they don't stop and start halfway through the swing. This would result in a really poor shot. But what they do is, is they follow the swing right the way through to make contact with the ball and continue through to the very end of the swing. If you imagine the golf club as the tattoo machine and the golf tee as the skin, the golfer doesn't suddenly stop the swing as soon as the golf club hits the ball. This would result in a really poor shot, or in our case as the tattooist, red and patchy skin. But instead the golfer swings to hit the ball and continues the movement through the ball and follows through to the end of the shot. This fluid single swoop results in a nice clean shot it's exactly the same principle with tattooing it's all about one smooth fluid motion traveling towards the skin the needle entering the skin and then continues to exit the skin without any speeding up or slowing down during the sweep of the tattoo machine so now we understand the actual technique you go and try it and after a bit of practice you start to get some decent shades but by the end of the session it's all going wrong and your tattoo is glowing red on the client's skin again so what are you doing wrong? So in this next section, I'm gonna show you a massive common mistake that people make when they shade, and I'm also gonna show you how to fix it. So providing you've applied everything we've covered so far in this video, and your tattoo is still coming out angry, patchy, and red looking, you might be making this really common and really easy to fix mistake. When people struggle with soft shade, it's usually the lighter, more delicate shades that they struggle to produce rather than the darker ones. Now the reason people struggle with these is because they're often wanting to see an instant result after they've made a few passes on the skin. But soft, delicate shades don't usually go instantly into the skin. They need a few minutes to be seen. This is because when the needles pass over the skin, they can irritate it and make a slight redness. Now this can be caused by blood coming to the surface of the skin. Now when the redness appears, because the skin darkens slightly in colour due to the redness, the light delicate shade can't immediately be seen. Now a common mistake people make is, is when they can't instantly see the light shade because of the redness, 
so they think the shade isn't there and they carry on doing more passes and more passes until they see something. Now this creates two huge problems. The main problem is now they've done too many passes and the shade they put into the skin is way darker than the one on the reference image which ultimately throws the whole tattoo and makes it odd looking. The second problem is because they pressed forward and carried on doing pass after pass on the skin they've ended up irritating it even more and it's become even more red and angry and in some cases overworked. Now the solution to this problem is really really simple. When you're doing delicate shades and you want a nice soft subtle effect on the skin do a few passes over the skin with the correct chosen grey wash and then move to another part of the tattoo. You can even give it a little wipe down with some green soap to aid the cooling of the skin and when the redness is gone you will notice a light shade in the area where you first thought no ink even went into the skin. Now by doing this technique and by doing a few passes then leaving it for a few minutes you will notice huge improvements in the quality of your shade and also the completed tattoo shouldn't be raised and angry looking but just nicely shaded with minimal skin irritation. So in this next section I'm just going to jump to a little video clip of some shading which I did and it's just going to be showing you all this stuff that we've covered into practice and just showing you how to get those nice soft delicate shades onto the skin. So in this video I've obviously got my CPS set, my hand speed and my machine speed are working in sync with each other, I've got a nice stretch and if you'll notice I'm just doing one continuous movement for each sweep. I'm not stopping and starting halfway through the sweep, I'm just doing this nice fluid continuous movement, just gently kissing the skin with the needles and in turn I'm not getting any redness any patchiness I'm just getting a nice soft shade into the skin thank you so much for watching this video guys and it means so much to me if you just take a second out now smack that like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel really important hit the notification bell and you'll stay up to date with all my latest uploads feel free to drop a comment in the box below and I'll see you in the next one